Hi, and welcome to this B1 Usability Package e-learning session on B1 dashboards where we're looking into the new schedule functionality. So let's go into Business One. Um, so inside Business One, um, we have the dashboard with all the different features we have in there. But the uh, dashboard can also now be scheduled, meaning you can on a fixed uh, schedule either save this data as uh, images just like you can do up here in print preview and save it into a, a file if you want to or you can actually email them as well so uh, let's see how it works so what you need to do is you need to go to administration add-ons usability package configuration b1 dashboard and into the dashboard scheduler so the schedule needs to have a name, monthly reports, and you can put in a success email or an error email. Error email is mandatory, but success email is optional. So let me put in an error email and say what I want to do. So the first thing is I need to tell what kind of uh, dashboards do I actually want to have uh, in my email or my save to a file. So let me say I want to have the sales, purchase and financial overview. But you can also take your own of course. We take those, we go into actions and say what do we want to do. So in my case I want to email but I could go in and save instead. And if I do save I need to ch choose a folder and will create a, f a file per a selection I have here, but uh, let's stick to the. This, yeah, let me qu finish uh, save here. You can choose it as an image or PDFs, but uh, it's fairly self-explanatory that what what happens. Uh, but in my case, let's go to the emails because I think that's the most important ones here. So you can put in recipients. In my case, it's just me and a subject monthly report. And a body, here are the monthly reports. Let's for now just have the file type as PDF to see how it looks. And as you can see here, it says that the SMTP information from the server components are the ones being used to actually send them. So the server components here, and that's what will be the one that actually sends us for us and into, if you look at the wizard I have some server information here on how to actually send an email and that's the one that will be used so if I add this once we set it up in this case it's a monthly report and let's say it's the first of the month at two o'clock in, in the night it should send it should send it uh, endlessly and let's just add it so now we have our monthly report, but of course we don't want to wait for 2 o'clock at, at night here, so let's just open up the schedule, or the schedule tester, and we can launch it immediately. So let's start the schedule. This will of course happen behind the scenes uh, at night, and now it's creating the dashboard and creating my email, and once done, uh, I will get an email and I will drag that onto a screen on the screen uh, in one second once it's done. So the schedule is now done and in my Outlook I have another screen. I received an email and this email let's have a look at it contains three PDFs. So the first PDF here and it's the sales overview with all the data. The second one is the purchase overview with its data and the financial overview with its data. So very nice to have them as PDFs but uh, in my mind the, the most important one is the images. So if we do the same but with the images instead 
check our schedule tester and run it once more. And while we wait, again, if you want to save instead of sending an actual email, you can do that as, as well with just uh, telling where the folder should be. So the email has come along and you can see if it's images, it will actually put them in line. So it's much easier to look at. So here's the first, here's the second, and here's the third. I prefer this way, but uh, that of course depends on what you prefer and and, uh, and consuming your your dashboard. Again, you can take your own dashboards. It's not limited to to the dashboards of of, of BioMIT. You can take any of your your dashboard and and give data. So with that, that was a brief overview on how you actually set this up. Very simple. Uh, and if you install the server component, it's uh, it will send them out for you on your, your schedule as uh, designed. So with that, thank you for attending and I hope you enjoyed the session.